gorgeous Aries. Aries, it's nearly the weekend. I hope you've had an amazing week. This is Debs and this is your TGIF for Friday, the 20th of September, 2024. Aries, if you're ready, let's just jump in, find out how your person's feeling about you. The deck that I'm using is the Marchetti deck. Everything you need, guys, is down below. The link to my website if you'd like a private reading, all the decks, and of course, the link to join the channel if you're interested in membership. So Aries, here we go. I'm hearing someone say, I don't want to open up that can of worms again. You want to keep a chapter closed, Aries. Okay. So Archangel Michael, what do we got for my lovely Aries, please? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Friday, the 20th of September. Moving into the weekend and into a fresh new week. And guys, this could be a message coming through now for the next few months. You know that by now. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, really interesting. I'm now seeing somebody putting out a bin bag, but they're holding their nose as if the stench is too much. <laughs> are you taking out the trash? <laughs> Aries, are you taking out the trash? <laughs> I'm sorry I shouldn't laugh. I'm sh I shouldn't laugh. No. Okay. Let's just see what's going on, guys. All right. You may have had a relationship that was a nightmare, Aries, and you are not going back there again. We will see. The Nine of Pentacles. So, Aries, you are single. I'm hearing happily so. Okay, great. <laughs> Eight of Wands. All right. Four <laughs> oh, Pentacles. Aries, you're making me laugh. I mean, this is you you know, getting a lot of passionate messages from someone and you're turning your back thinking, absolutely not. Hell no. I'm not going there again. You've got to be kidding me. That was a disaster. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Um, Aries, you're firmly keeping yourself to yourself. I think you're single building your financial stability, but you've got someone messaging you who is wanting to be with you. They're wanting to commit to you, Aries. And you're thinking, no, you're just thinking, no, 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 judgment. You're making a judgment call, Aries, to keep yourself single, okay? Keep hold of your finances, keep your finances safe. You may have rebuilt your finances after loss. You could have gone through divorce. You've got someone here, Aries, who's desperate to lock you down and you're thinking, absolutely not, no. Okay, that's how they see you. The Emperor. Yeah. Aries, you are a single Emperor who is receiving passionate messages from someone who doesn't want to let you go. They want to lock you down. But you're making a judgment call, Aries, to stay single. You're concentrating on your finances, Aries. You've already gone through a long-term relationship and it may have ended badly. You're not going there again. You're not going there again, Aries. Temperance, yeah. Yeah. You're happy coasting. You're taking charge of your life. You may have decided to build a business. You could be, again, just concentrating on your career. Four of Cups, Aries, I don't think you're interested in love at all. I think you went through a bit of a nightmare in the past pertaining to love. And this is you thinking, yeah, no, no, no. I don't want a relationship right now. I want to concentrate on my finances. But Aries, someone here is really disappointed. They're really disappointed, Aries. You know that there are options around you. You know that if you put your mind to it and you pursued someone, you could be in a relationship in next to no time. But I don't think you actually want a relationship. 
Ten of Wands. <laughs> Aries, there may be a lot of people very attracted to you, blowing up your phone, trying to flirt with you. Aries, let's go out. It's as if, <laughs> no, I just want to concentrate on my career, my job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, you are surrounded by people, Aries, who want to date you, who want to be the next Mrs. Emperor. They want to be your Empress, right? You're just blinkered in one direction and that's your career. It's so obvious, guys. Yeah, Six of Wands. Six of Wands. You're burdened as a single emperor because you're a catch. You have a lot of people around you who are wanting to be with you, inviting you out to various parties, sending you passionate messages. But what you're thinking about is, I'm just concentrating on me. I don't want a relationship. <laughs> the Fool. Aries, you're very, very happy single. And with the King of Swords, Aries, I think you may be taking a leap of faith and a risk in a business venture with the King of Swords. Aries, you're all about your career. I think I'm dealing with an Aries who may have ended a long-term relationship or who may have got actually divorced. I feel there may have been some financial loss with the Four of Pentacles, but you've rebuilt quite quickly. You're making a judgment call to stand strong in your emperor energy as a single person sitting in temperance. I don't actually want a relationship. Four of cups. No, it doesn't matter who offers me love. I'm not interested. A lot of people around you, seven of cups, which sometimes may make you feel burdened. Oh, you know, well, maybe I should look for a relationship. But Aries, you know, you may go to a party thinking, yeah, they all want to get married. They want to have kids. Mm, I've ended a relationship. There was financial loss. I'm now concentrating on me. I think that's what you're deciding to do. Yeah. The problem is, Aries, you're pretty eligible. <laughs> but it's as if, no, I don't care if you're Miss America. I'm not interested I'm concentrating on my money. <laughs> uh, the Seven of Coins, Seven of Pentacles. Aries, you did make a few mistakes in the past. They could have led to financial loss. Page of Cups. You may have had a child with someone and you may be paying someone child support. Or with a Page of Cups, you may be thinking you want to apologise to somebody from the past. Two of Pentacles. Maybe apologise to that person for juggling them with somebody else. You may not have been faithful in your relationship, Aries. But I don't actually think you want to rebuild a relationship with somebody from the past. Because with the Four of Swords, Aries, you're pretty happy just you. It's as if, if I remain single, there's going to be no drama. No drama. I'm hearing that Bob Marley song. <laughs> I'm hearing that... Bob Marley's song, No Woman, No Cry. <laughs> yeah. Aries, King of Wands. You could basically have whoever you wanted to. You're a very good looking guy. This is you and your fire energy. And you may be successful in the work that you do. But with the energy of the moon, what you're not telling people is you're just all about your finances. Eight of Pentacles. You're all about your finances, Aries. Yeah. And there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's a good thing for you to do. Particularly if you didn't have a very good relationship or you've had bad relationships in the past. Yeah, concentrate on you. Here we go. Using the Lighted Pathway for this series of readings. So Archangel Michael, what would the angels want to say to Aries, please? Taking responsibility. Yeah, so Aries, you are doing what is right for you. You may have taken control of a challenging relationship, Aries, and ended it. Okay, 
Aries, you got someone coming back to you saying that they miss you. So just a heads up, you got an ex turning up. Mm. But the angels are saying that person is not meant for you. They're not on your path. Okay. And they're also suggesting, Aries, that you question this person's intentions. Okay. Yeah. Are they looking for a safe place to land? Do they see you as being highly successful? Are they wanting to be codependent on you? You know, question their intentions. Why does this ex want to come back to you, really? Are they unhappy without you? Or do you feel it's for another reason? But Aries, whatever happens with the ex, I think you're firmly concentrating on you and your career. I think you've got great aspirations pertaining to your career, Aries. And I'm almost getting the fact that you may have had a lot of drama in a previous relationship and you are not wanting to go back there again. Not at least for the next few months. Put it that way. Yeah. So, <laughs> Aries, let's have a look and see what you would want to say to your ex. Because your ex is coming back. This is obviously an ex because they're unhappy without you. They miss you. But you don't think you two are meant to be together. And you may query as to why they're coming back. So, Aries, let's get messages from your ex to you. Here we go, guys. Love Oracle, two decks in one. Archangel Michael, what does this ex want to say to Aries, please? What do they want to say to Aries? Oh, okay. Aries, you may have had a relationship, I hate to say this, with a narcissist. They like to abandon people to make themselves feel important. Okay, did they abandon you in the relationship, Aries? Cause you drama? Cause you upset? They may have done. What else does this person want to say to you? Passion and desire. They're very, very attracted to you, Aries. A lot of passion for you. But this is a narcissist. I think you let go of someone who was sat in their shadow. I want to work things out. Okay. I want to work things out. Cars are a bit strange, flighty. I wish I could take it back. Okay, Aries. I think you call this person out. This might have been somebody who cheated on you all the time. Or somebody who was sat in a lot of ego. All about the material things. They may have said some really horrible things to you, Aries. You know? And I think they're looking back in regret. They want to work things out. They wish they could take back what they said. What else do they want to say? Ooh, yeah. I feel terrible for hurting you. Aries, this is someone who caused you a lot of pain. They did. What else do they want to say? Okay. I'm done playing games. This is someone who played a lot of games with you, Aries. May have tried to make you jealous by cheating on you. They may have backstabbed you. They may have said hurtful things. I think this is someone who's looking back in a lot of regret. But I think you're done, Aries. What else is this person saying to you who wants you back? What else are they saying? Oh, yeah, they cheated on you. Yeah. It was just a fling as if to say, come on, Aries. You know, it was just a one-off. It was just a little fling. I want you back. And you're thinking, hell no. Nope, you're a narcissist. What else does this person want to say? Yeah, I feel lost without you. Aries, this is someone who is now looking back, realizing what they've lost in you. You know, and this is someone sitting in a lot of regret. Aries, what would you want to say to them? What would you want to say to them in return? Okay, 
fights, arguments, conflict. I think you had a lot of problems with this person, Aries. They might have been a nightmare to be with. Yes, there may have been a lot of attraction, but you were dealing with somebody quite screwed up, is what I want to say. What else do you want to say to this person? Final message from Aries, Michael. Okay, yeah, destiny is taking us down different paths. Aries, I don't think you want your ex back. I think for you it's really done. I think you may be sitting in a lot of relief right now that this is over and you're absolutely not going back. So Aries, this may end up being a career reading. Let's move into the second reading, Aries. Let's have a look and see how the next few months are going to pan out. I will see you there. Here we go, guys. This is the Tarot de la Nuit, the Tarot of Night. And um, yeah, Aries, I mean, this might be about you, your career. Um, it may be that you're doing some traveling. It may be that you're relocating. I think, Aries, it's going to be all about you, but we will see. We will see. So Archangel Michael, what do the next few months hold for Aries, please? Thank you, Michael. What do the next few months hold for Aries? Thank you. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody ferreting around in, in what looks like a black document holder or briefcase on the passenger seat of their car. Yeah, Aries, I just think you're all about your work. We will see. It may be, Aries, you're just enjoying being young, free and single, but I've got a feeling you're not even potentially interested in dating. Hmm. The Hanged Man. Aries, you're seeing things very differently. With a Page of Wands, you may decide to reach out to a Pisces or a fire sign. You may feel angry with someone. Okay, Knight of Cups. Nine of Swords. The Fool. Okay. Aries, this is you just reminiscing about the past. This is you reminiscing about the past, okay? What you're thinking about is, I kept myself stuck for so long. I now see what I really want. I had to deal with lots of arguments. My person passionately messaging other people. With the Knight of Cups, I thought I was in love. But what I'm realising now is, with the Nine of Swords, I probably wasn't. It was possibly just attraction. And with the energy of the Fool, I'm really happy being single. Temperance. Aries, you're tempering your passions. You're tempering your passion. Knight of Wands. Okay, Aries. You may have flirted with people whilst being in a relationship and maybe your partner was cheating on you too. It was a bit of a disaster. But with temperance next to the knight of wands, you're tempering your passions. Seven of wands. You're even going so far, Aries, as pushing passionate messages away. Don't try and flirt with me because I don't want a relationship, right? <laughs> Aries, Aries, Six of Pentacles, you're busy paying your bills, you're busy building up your finances, you're busy balancing the books, Aries, it's as if I don't want a relationship, I've got no time for a relationship, and I definitely don't want my ex back. Yeah. Two of Wands, you are standing at crossroads in your life, because I think this is you having broken away from a difficult situation. With the Three of Pentacles, I think you're concentrating on building a business or you could be working a partnership with two or three other people. 
the six of wands. Aries, you're all about your business. If you're not sitting in an entrepreneurial role, the six of wands can be you just determined to climb the ladder to success, you know, marching up the career ladder. The strength card. Aries, you're concentrating on your health. And you may be looking at a legal contract. Okay. Yeah. This is you getting balance back in your life, Aries, after a difficult time. Underneath the deck, guys, the Hierophant. Aries, you may have been married and got divorced, or you could have connected with a Taurian, but with the Ten of Swords, you may have felt betrayed by someone who, with the Ace of Cups, left you for a lover or took a lover. Gemini energy. Wow. Yeah, they had an affair, Aries, with the Ace of Wands. I think they tried to apologise with a Page of Pentacles, but Aries, I think for you it was done. Yeah, Chariot could have been a Cancerian for some of you. I think Aries, you decided it was time to end that connection. It wasn't serving you. It was making you unhappy. Two of Swords. Wow. You may even have blocked this person from communicating anymore. Yeah. So Aries, it's all about the money. <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> I don't blame you guys. I mean, you know, relationships can be tricky these days. Let's see if anything exciting is going to happen, Aries. Anything else for you? <laughs> the Four of Wands. So you may be concentrating on paying off a mortgage or you may be settling into your own home following separation or something like that. You may be thinking about a property. The world. Yeah, I mean, you've ended a cycle. You may be going online, looking at other areas of the world. You may be deciding to buy a property in another area of the world. But you're holding back, Aries, spending too much money. You're being very savvy about your finances, Aries. And you may be being a little bit of a hermit, doing a lot of soul searching about the past. You may be holding back from a Virgo for some of you. But yeah, Aries, I think you're just concentrating on you underneath the deck, the sun. You may be thinking of moving. You may be doing some traveling. I think for the next few months, Aries, you're going to get your life back on track. You're going to get yourself streamlined again, pertaining to your routine, your day to day routine. You may look at love in a year or so, maybe. But for now and for the next few months, Aries, you are concentrating on you. Yeah. So <laughs> with that said, let's move into messages from the universe. Here we go, guys. The Oracle of Mystical Moments. So Archangel Michael, what does the universe have to say to my lovely Aries? Yeah. New directions. There we go, Aries. Look at you lifting off <laughs> this tiny top hat. This is you hanging on to the strings of that hot air balloon, which is actually a dandelion. You're heading in a different direction. Yes, Aries. So you could be thinking of relocating. You could be thinking about working in a different country. Yeah, Aries. Listen, I'm just getting a lot of peace. Listening to the silence. You may be grounding yourself, Aries, but you may also be tempted to hibernate. You finally found that balance you were looking for. And it's because you are now by yourself. Hmm. The perfect key. Aries, normally I would read this as you feeling somebody's got the key to your heart. But what I think this is, 
is you actually locking away your heart because you don't want a relationship. It's as if, no, I need to concentrate on my career, my foundation, my state of mind, my health over the next few months. Mm, Aries, guys, the journey, yeah. With a one and a nine Aries, you've ended a cycle. You're holding back from exploring anything or anyone new, but you are on a new path. Yeah, the fool takes a new path. Final message of guidance from the universe for Aries, please. Home in the sky. Aries, you may spend a lot of time in deep thought. You may again feel like being by yourself. There's a singular energy coming through. I'd much rather be by myself because there's no drama. There's no drama. Okay, Aries, that's what we have for you guys. And now, as always, we're going to be asking Archangel Michael for his final closing message of guidance. Archangel Michael, what is your closing message of guidance, please, for my lovely Aries? What would you want to say to Aries at this time? Thank you, Michael. Focus upon divine and perfect health. And the prayer reads, God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so they support my well-being. Aries, yeah, concentrate on you, your mental health, your physical health, concentrate on you. Okay, alrighty. So Aries, an interesting reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care of you. Have a lovely weekend. And I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, Aries. Bye now.